All right, so it looks like I can't get go a single day <laughs> without the Bleach team dropping more content for me to cover on the new Bleach game, Rebirth of Souls, which, by the way, if you're watching this video and you haven't seen any of my coverage to the other stuff that has dropped up to this point, well, do yourself a favor and go watch those videos and come back and watch this one. But today we're going to be watching the Byakuya character trailer gameplay and i this is one i'm excited about because in the last video i was literally mentioning biaki on how curious i was to his gameplay and what exactly it would be like considering um after seeing ichigo uryu and rukia how i had a lot of questions about the footage that we saw on the main gameplay trailer that had biaki in it so I, i'm i'm ready to to see what what they got here so without further ado let's just watch this thing Okay, headset is on. I got the trailer revved up. You already know what time it is. Let's go, baby. We're going to watch the trailer one time through all the way and then break it down. Searching for God's spot. Here we go, Senbon Sakura. I shall end this with my blade. <laughs> okay. Oh. Too late. Where are you looking? Too weak. It is my turn now. Oh. Nothing you do will work against me. Are you prepared? Scatter. Send bone Sakura. Okay. All right. Okay. Um let's watch this let's watch this trailer again and let me break it down here for a bit. There's actually stuff that it answered my quite my main question about it, but I'll talk about it here in a bit. But yeah. Let's take a look at this trailer. All right, so 13 Gore, 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 Senbu and Sakura, obviously we all know that's Byakuya's Zanpakuto. Uh, so he's captain of squad six, a tactician who adapts his fighting style depending on the situation and uses Senbu and Sakura to cut down his enemies. If you didn't know, now I you know that's pretty really obvious about blade. Byakuya. All right, so here's his first move, which is Senbu and Sakura seal and release uh, a technique that switches between seal and release forms that, when used properly, will maintain a distance advantage over Byakuya's opponent. So this is actually interesting because I feel like the seal and release is referring to the Shikai. And I feel like that's Senbo and Sakura itself and how many of the pedals are going to be coming out based on, I think, maybe this attack that he does. Wait, Let me take a look at it. Where are you looking? Yeah, because it looks like that first one, right? That that first time. So here we go. If we can, uh, let's see at the very beginning of this, right here. So that that first, this right here, that looks like that's the seal, um, version of the combo, right? That I feel like that's the seal version where the pedals are not coming out. He's just using his zompak tail and wielding it like a normal katana. Where are you? Looking? And then that's the release where you can sort of see the. The scatter of Sembo and Sakura. And then he has a release release. Sembo and Sakura seal Sembo and Sakura slash seal Sembo and Sakura. Okay. Attacking from all directions with an invisible blade. The technique changes depending on the form Sembo, Sembo, and Sa Sembo Sakura is activated in. In the released form, it draws in the opponent while in the sealed form, it blows the opponent away. Okay, so a little bit more... Stuff to break down with Byakuya in terms of his move set. Um, it looks like it's not similar at all to the other three people we've seen because it looks like Byakuya has two versions of his move set, which is that release version and the seal version. Seal version seems like it's, uh, I don't know why I just spaced out, but I feel like the sealed version is when he uses his actual katana. And the release version is when he uses Sembo and Sakura like he is with the rose petals right here. And maybe that is a product of whether or not you're in Bankai. Maybe when he's in Bankai, that's what these sort of released combos are. 
maybe, but I don't know because when Ichigo goes into Bonkai, it almost looks like he gets a completely different move set as well. So maybe that's just part for the core, or maybe this is just like the fact that like Byakuya can use Shikai at will. This could just be Shikai and not Bonkai. Um, so this could be just generally depending on um a certain uh I don't certain I guess threshold or I don't know how to really say it for Byakuya. I'm kind of curious as to what this release and seal is gonna play play for. If this is something that has to do with the Bonkai or if this is just Shikai and normal stuff that you kind of have to get techy with. It is my turn now. And then there's Spiritual Pressure Move 2, which is that won't touch me. You can block your opponent's attack, followed up by a counterattack with the Keto ability, Sokatsui. So, yeah, another Keto move, and we see it obviously used by Byakuya. And like I said, with Rukia, um, Keto and Hado is going to, those are, um, so Keto and Hado are two other different, basically spell magic moves, if you will, like an easy terminology, I guess, for people that don't know, in the Bleach universe, where they can, um, basically do uh uh spiritual pressure reishi techniques without having to use their shikai blades or anything like that it's kind of like just the output that they can do by saying these spells um this one in this case being sokatsui um and so i'm not surprised that bonkai uh, bonkai that byakuya has this um byakuya is you know one of those characters that i expected to have hado and, and uh, keto abilities Nothing you do will work against me. And that looks like a full ca counter, um, which looks really cool. I actually like that. I like the counters in this game so far. And this right here answers my Are main question I had about Byakuya. All right. Bro, I never get tired of seeing seeing that Bonkai. But when he's awakening, it is his Bonkai. So it is not his Shikai. It is his Bonkai, which I think answers my question that I don't think Byakuya will have a reawakening which is interesting to me considering that uryu does it makes sense that uh ichigo would considering that like i said in that video prior i think ichigo's makes sense considering that he's always reaching different levels of his power and his power has a higher ceiling than a lot of other characters so it would make sense for ichigo to have multiple reawakenings uryu makes sense in terms of his quincy quincy powers um I thought we were going to get a Shikai awakening for these soul re captains and just soul reapers. And then the reawakening would be the Bonkai. But I guess that's not the case. And I guess that, um, you know, it's it's some some of these characters might just generally not have reawakenings. They might just have normal awakenings. And I think this is a mechanic that if they I know this is like far in the future but let's say this game does well right let's say this game does well let's say all of us enjoy it and not just does well in terms of sales but does well in terms of uh playability and long time stay as a game because selling a lot of copies is one thing but actually being a playable game that a lot of people enjoy and a lot of people have replay value with and uh will stand the test of time will dictate whether or not it gets a sequel in the future and i feel like if they did get a sequel and then they covered thousand year blood war for example if they revisit byakuya i feel like he could have a reawakening with senbon sakura based on how he comes back in thousand year blood war after he gets knocked out by as not or in the case of uh, let's say rukia uh she could have that awakening with her shikai and then have a reawakening with her full bankai or Renji for that for that matter as well. So there's possibilities here with the reawakening mechanic if this game does well for the future of these characters. Um, but right now it does seem this answered my question that some characters just are going to have a single awakening, which that plays in a little bit more interestingly through the game, considering that if you're playing Ichigo or Uryu, you have not just one trump card, but it seems like a second trump card with a reawakening on top of a normal awakening. So... Obviously, it has not been fully confirmed whether or not that visored mask that Ichigo has in this holification is a reawakening or not. This is just me saying that that is, considering that that's just the thing that makes the most sense. And the thing that, honestly, I feel like should be the case. I feel like it would be a little bit confusing to have that chic visored or mask in the holification be sort of like a something that would happen based on certain things that need to require in the match. I feel like that would be kind of lame. It, the easiest thing to do is just have that be a reawakening, honestly. 
because it makes sense, I mean, for it to come out if your health is super, super low, which is why I'm interested to see what these reawakenings are going to be like in the gameplay and how much it's going to affect characters like Byakuya when you're facing them that only have a single awakening. Um, but yeah, this answered my general question I had about this. And the, this trailer is really cool, but it's nothing crazy in terms of what we've seen. This seems like it's recycled footage from what we've seen of the gameplay, but now they're just breaking it down so you understand Bianchi's moveset. Like, for example, I know with uh, the Rukia and the Uriu trailers, those were cool and exciting because you got to see new uh, maps as well. So with Uriu, you got to see Weko Mundo, possibly, a map there. And then with Rukia, possibly Karakuta Town at night. Um, so there's it's cool to see different um different settings for those this is this is uh this this map does look cool though when they're at um at the sedate uh the soul society where ichigo and bon byakuya have i don't know why i keep calling them bankai bro but <laughs> where ichigo and byakuya obviously have their their very classic clash but otherwise byakuya does look like a fun character regardless i mean using senbon sakura in general seems like a cool thing to do i mean because you it's like rukia right rukia has a lot of long range techniques and i feel like byakuya is a good character that would be able to counter a character like uryu for example especially using zenbon sakura to stop zoning and bring them in and then use uh sealed the your normal katana and then just fuck him up with zenbon sakura again so i don't know he seems like a very resourceful character as well as rukia so he looks fun I'm a little bit disappointed with him not having a reawakening. I don't know how that's going to be in terms of meta of the game. Let me know in the comment section what you think that's going to lead to. But um, he looks fun, man. And so far, way different from the other characters. Obviously, had to be because Senbo and Sakura is much more of a versatile sort of Shikai that I think Byakuya was so early on in being able to use it and wield it um, versus a lot of other Shikais. So... And I, it just, it's just such a cool Shikai as well. I mean, come on. Zenbon Zakura is so classic to see. But yeah, that's going to be that trailer. That's going to do it for Byakuya Kuchki. So yeah, let me know what you guys think about this. Let me know what you guys think about Byakuya Kuchki. Are you going to be maining him now that you've seen his footage in comparison to Rukia, in comparison to Ichigo, in comparison to Uryu? Um, in terms of story, I think Ichigo just having a reawakening and that being the, the, the holification makes sense in terms of the story terms of if that happens when you're playing the story mode it would make the most sense to be honest with you um let me know what your thoughts are on that and whether or not that is a reawakening for ichigo considering that we have seen now with byakuya his full bonkai is just his main awakening and not a reawakening like i kind of thought um i was wrong there it's just a normal awakening and i don't know how that's gonna do what do play dividends for him as a character and whether or not that affects you playing him against somebody like Uryu or Ichigo. So I'm curious to see a, a full match in this game. Maybe that's the next thing they drop or they're just going to keep dropping character uh, trailers. Either way, I love that they're keeping, keeping us informed in terms of what the game has to offer. And I hope that they're polishing it on top of giving us all this info. Because now they, because it looks like they have so much done in this game. <laughs> Based on all these trailers, it looks like there's a lot of mechanics here that have already been ironed out. So I think this game will be releasing early 2025. I think that's the goal post. And I think they're going to keep dropping trailers and little nuggets here. Because obviously they know us Bleach fans, we're going to be taking all of it in as much as we can. And uh, I'm going to be here covering it as much as I can. So uh, this, obviously, I was... I, I said it last video, but I'm still working on my tier list video for the game. Not tier list or like character roster prediction for the game. If you're watching this video, uh, like and subscribe if you would like to see that. Um, hopefully, I'm planning to have that out tomorrow. If you're watching this, vi if you're watching this video the day after it's posted and that video is not posted, well, there you well then you know it's going to be posted the next week and not um, this Friday, uh, which would be tomorrow. Um, but in, if it's not posted this Friday slash tomorrow, <laughs> there will be a community post where I sort of tease my character roster prediction and you can sort of get a glimpse of what I'm working on. Um, it's a little it's taking a little bit more more editing off screen uh, for me to get it done. And obviously, I got to cr crinkle it down and think about who I think would be plausible in the game. But like I said, I'll catch you guys in that video hopefully i can get that down and if not you know i'm gonna just do my best to get it 
uh, nailed down so that it, it's just, I just want to, I just want to drop a, a good video. I don't want to just half-ass it. So especially for Bleach, I love Bleach. But anyways, I'm going to leave it at that. And uh, yeah, I'm excited for this game. I keep saying it every time, but I'm going to say it all the time I see more footage. I'm excited.